Thank you for joining today's Words of Wisdom with Prayer. I'm Eddie from Happy Science International Headquarters. And today's topic is this one. The starting point of the principle of happiness. The starting point of the principle of happiness. This is today's topic. As you know, we Happy Science seeking the happiness. And what kind of happiness we are seeking for? In this book, Master mentioned like this, uh, the, prince, uh, the Ten Principles from El Cantare, Volume 1, uh, page 47, Master mentioned like this. There are numerous ways to become happy, but the kind of happiness we seek is a happiness that carries over from this world to the next. It is not the sort of happiness you can only enjoy in this world. We are exploring principles of happiness that apply to the past, the present, and the future. The starting point of these principles is the attitude to explore right mind. What is the right mind? Every individual has the same divine nature as the Tathagata within him or her. And this is the right mind. Must I mention like this? So the starting point of the principles of happiness is uh, exploring right mind, shining our Buddha nature or divine nature. This is the starting point. And how to polish our soul or mind? Uh, there are four four paths, as you know. There are four four paths. The love, wisdom, self-reflection, and progress. Through these four four paths, we can polish our mind. Master uh, explain about that shortly in this book, Prayer's Book One. Prayer's Book One. The third sutra, Buddha's teaching sutra for our ancestors. Originally, this is, this sutra used for the ceremony for our ancestors, but we can also use for studying the four four paths. So I will read the sentence. Buddha has preached to you the four four paths, the principles of love, wisdom, self-reflection, and progress. Love is to love others, helping others with no sort of return. Love that gives means to love without wanting any rewards. It is a true mercy of Bodhisattva. Wisdom is to have knowledge of the other world. Now you have no physical body. It is a wonder that you still have life. If you had been wise enough, why on earth, to know the secret of reincarnation, the difference between this world and the other world, and the distinction between heaven and hell, you would not have lived a life of delusion. You would not have done wrong. Therefore, self-reflection is essential. On earth, you were attached to things and lived a life of endless desire for prosperity, for money and rust, desire for drink, for gambling, for promotion and fame. So too, your life was filled with complaint and discontent, jealousy, de doubt, deceit, theft, violence, and the poison of anger. With all this, who else would go to hell if, you, if not you? You must truly reflect on your past thoughts and deeds and ask for Buddha's forgiveness. Moreover, there is a teaching of progress. Ask yourself, did you do anything useful for the world? Did you do anything for the happiness of others? Did you make an effort to improve yourself without causing trouble for others? While you were alive on earth, did you endeavor to build a utopia, an ideal world? Did you build a land of Buddha on earth, wishing for the happiness of 
all people. And are you sure that you never interfered with the spiritual training of Bodhisattva? This is a, a short explanation of four four paths from a Buddha or a Master in the prayer book, prayers book one. So if you uh, want, uh, if you interesting, please uh, please read it. And you can deepen through this book and volume two. And lastly, I want to talk about uh, uh, this. These four principles following one another from a great, from a great circle becomes a great circle. The principles of love, wisdom, self-reflection, and progress. It is like circle, starting from love and uh, to expand love, we need to study. To expand love, we need to self-reflect. To expand our love, we need to progress. So starting from love and end with love. And if you go this, uh, on this circle, this circle will be bigger. This is very important. Starting from love and uh, end with love. Okay? Please remember this point. So through this point, uh, we can live happy. Uh, we can live happily through this world to another world. Thank you very much. So let's move on to Happy Science Morning Prayer. Lord El Cantare, Master Liu Ho Okawa, thank you very much for giving us your great light every day. We practice the principles of happiness, love, wisdom, self-reflection, and progress to make the world better with our brothers and sisters. With our gratitude, we will recite the true words spoken by Buddha, prayer to the Lord, and prayer to guardian and guiding spirits. The true words spoken by Buddha, Liu Ho Ho Kawa. There used to be the light in the great universe. The light is the energy of Buddha. People can live by this energy, and Buddha's energy has made human history. It will be supplied eternally. This eternal light comes from heaven and prevails on earth. This is the light of heaven through the prism of Buddha. There appear the seven colors of rainbow arching over in the sky. Here you can see Buddha's mercy. Yellow is the color of teaching. White is the color of saving. Red is the color of justice. Purple is the color of obedience. Blue is the color of thinking. Green is the color of harmony. Silver is the color of progress. These seven colors help each other. And there appears Buddha land. Buddha land is shining brightly because of the gathering of bodhisattvas. This is the land of love or the land of mercy. This is the land of wisdom or the land of teaching. Especially, this is the land of souls resting in peace. Real souls are the children of Buddha. The children of Buddha became real human beings. Real human beings have spirituality. The spirits are immortal powers. The spirits are immortal forces. The spirits are real entities. The physical bodies are the shadows of the spirits. It means you are the boat sailing down the great river. The great river is a symbol of the course of lives. Each of you sails down as a small boat. So you need a boatman. If it were not for your own boatman, you surely go aground. This boatman really means your mind. If your mind makes a mistake, 
the boat breaks into pieces by a large rock, and you also need a bamboo pole. This pole is the meaning of the true wealth. When you go down a rapid stream, you need to pant in a stream. Then you can change your course. The true words mean the teaching of Buddha. Buddha enlightened and spoke the true words, and Buddha's teaching became a gold mine. This gold mine suggests various teachings. These are another expression of Buddha's truth. It brightens up your days. Or to put it another way, the fruit of Buddha's mercy. All of you, now hear, listen to me. Never lose your way, now and forever. The guiding hand has already waved. Please follow this right hand and go straightly on and on. Your lives are not limited to this world only. They have three aspects, the past, the present, the future. Your pasts have already gone by, yet still, your mistakes will be kept in your minds. That is the reason why you should understand other people, and you yourself should reflect on what you have done. You and others are not different. On the contrary, both are children of Buddha and brothers and sisters. Now then, love each other, let us bring up each other, and it's time to forgive each other. This is eternal law, which penetrates the present and the future. Yes, indeed, the light of the dark night. The dark night of this world is hell. It is also the same in another world. Since we came down to this world, the sun of the truth is scheduled to rise. Now we are watching rising sun. It will shed light to the future to invite such people to Bhutan. Now here I command, there shall not be conflict in this world. There shall not be distrust in this world. There shall not be crime in this world. There shall not be evil spirit in this world. There shall not be the devil in the next world. Only the ideal world, utopia shall be realized. All of the people love each other, live harmoniously, believe in one another. That world is utopia. All of us could be the light of bodhisattvas, believing that the light has reality, believing that love has reality, believing that the truth has reality. These are the facts that should be conveyed. We, the light of bodhisattvas, get together, work together, to keep right mind and live in tune with Buddha's words. Here, be bound to do so. Prayer to the Lord, our Lord El Cantare, you are the source of all light, all power, all wisdom, and all love. May you give us light, give us power, give us wisdom, and give us love. O oh Lord, our Father, please protect this planet of love us, protect us from all evil, and open a future for us. O oh Lord, thank you for giving us light, we give thanks from the bottom of our hearts. Prayer to Guardian and Guiding Spirits My Guardian and Guiding Spirits, deep inside of me, you are the fountain of life, the light of hope, the source of wisdom, and the shield of courage. Every day, may you help me develop my soul and refine my mind. Every day, may you give me inspiration and show me the right path to follow. Please protect me from all evil and guide me in living a better life. For this, I give my thanks.
Thank you for joining. Have a wonderful day.